Gather round the shovel crew and welcome to Vex by Vestron. Today we're going to be doing Beyond Reanimator, which came out in 2003. The Vestron Blu-ray released in 2018. It is number 15. Uh, it was directed by Brian Yuzna, which uh, directed Society, Bride of Reanimator, and Return of the Living Dead Part 3. And in my book, all three of those movies are awesome. Unlike the original and Broad Reanimator, I saw this one right away. I didn't have to wait years and years. Uh, I'm sure I'll do a video on the other two at some point, so I won't really go into the stories with those. But unfortunately, when I did see this one right away, it was on the Sci-Fi Channel. A big TV PG. Ugh. There was a limited theatrical release, and they did have it play a few festivals. But largely, I think most people probably saw it on the Sci-Fi Network or later on on DVD. I'm sure that the theatrical release and the festival releases were uh, shown the, uh, the R-rated version, which is what we get here on this uh, Blu-ray. As for the review of the movie, uh, starting off with a slasher type beginning kind of uh, distorts the whole vibe of the movie. And as Alice Cooper says, gives it a real identity crisis. Is. You don't have returning uh, villain um, Carl Hill, obvious, for obvious reasons, right? But you do get the warden. And, it, you know, where he wasn't as cool as Dr. Hill, the warden was pretty good. Spoiler warning. Especially whenever he became the rat warden. That was really, really awesome. As for the cast, besides Jeffrey Combs, I'm not familiar with any of the cast. Um, they were were mostly um, Spanish actors. We also have an issue where there was a lot of thick accents, possibly people that don't speak English. So a lot of the uh, the voices have been dubbed on this movie. Some of the standouts of the movie, obviously anytime Jeffrey Combs is on screen, I'm there for it. I love the whole thing going on with the rat and the, the rat versus uh, the severed pecker. Oh yes, that was, that was epic. The fight with them uh, at, with the end credits, uh, it was like a little silhouette fight. It was freaking awesome. I also enjoyed the, the, the half man. Uh, Scream and Mad George did some of the effects in this movie. It's always awesome to just see his work. Where I don't believe you're going to get the broad reanimator awesomeness out of this one. It, there was some pretty pretty cool uh, special effects going on. My favorite uh, kill, but not really kill because, well, he, he didn't die, was when the uh, speedball's belly busted. That was, that was, that was pretty epic. You know, I don't know what it was. I mean, I realize this movie came out in 2003. You had some awesome movies dropping in 2003. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, remake came out then. Uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. Even though I know that, you know, that was filmed earlier than it was released. But, you know, you had that come out. You had Wrong Turn, High Tension. I mean, 2003 had some pretty decent movies. I really don't know what happened here. You have Brian Usna directing, which, I mean, he's freaking awesome. But I think maybe they knew this was going to be for the Sci-Fi Channel. The script was not good. I, I understand from some of the special features that uh, Jeffrey Combs would just redo some of the script on set. He would just re rework it. And that's probably why uh the movie really shines whenever uh, you know dr west is on screen as for the blu-ray features you have a audio commentary with brian yuzna it is a solo commentary so they are not my preference but at least it was with the director uh there's an isolated score uh, beyond and back which is an 18 minute interview with brian yuzna death row sideshow a 20 minute interview with jeffrey combs uh six shots at Midnight, a 16-minute interview with uh, S.T. Joshi, the author of I Am Providence, Life and Times of H.P. Lovecraft. So obviously this is, uh, you know, kind of a history of H.P. Lovecraft. There's some production art uh, you can watch. It's, it's like four minutes of art. Uh, there's a steel gallery which is like 17 minutes of just, you know, steals. Uh, some being uh, just kind of screenshots of the movie, some behind the scenes. There's a vintage EPK featurette, which is 17 minutes. It has uh, the director and actor speaking. 
Unfortunately, most of the um, the interviews are in Spanish, and I unfortunately do not speak Spanish, and there's no English subtitles, so don't know really what they say. Then, I this was the first time I ever watched this. The Dr. Reanimator video for Move Your Dead Bones. It is pure WTF. It's just like, what? <laughs> what is going on? Uh, I had to watch it. I had to make uh, my daughter watch it, my sister watch it, my wife watch it. They all had to watch it. And it gets in your head. It's it's like an earworm. You also have both of the theatrical trailer and the international trailer. As do you need to add this one to the collection? I mean, that's going to be personal preference. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to tell you, if you're, if you're looking for an awesome movie, uh, this is probably not it. This, this movie was maybe two and a half stars. And as to you adding this to your collection, I mean, are you a diehard uh, reanimated fan? If so, yeah, you're probably going to want to add this one. Uh, if you're collecting all the Vestrons, definitely you want to add this one. Uh, you know, the special features were, 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 you know, you got at least an hour and a half of special features there. Uh, that is, you know, that would, that would, you know, point me into, yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna purchase it. Uh, but if you're just looking for, you know, an awesome horror movie, I think, I think, you know, there are a lot better things out there for you to spend your money on, honestly. Uh, I'm glad they put this one out. Uh, I know Arrow has a UK, uh, version of this movie. I don't know what kind of special features and whatnot uh, or maybe on that that's not on this one. I don't know if it looks better, you know, considering I don't love this movie. Probably I, I wouldn't I wouldn't double dip again. You know, if, if they come out with a 4K version, I'm just going to ignore it. The movie looked decent enough. I, I don't need a, an, an upgrade from this, so this will, this will be my forever version. And as always, stay spooky. And if you have a syringe full of that green stuff, I would suggest not using it. Not recommended, but be vexed by Vestron. Thank you.